And it's gotta be Again, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Now, I just like that because that's how that's what they're doing in uh in Agents of Shield nowadays. You know, I, I get, they got the black dude on there. I, I don't know what his name is, but like every time every time you walk into the room, he's like facing backwards, like. And he does his slow turn, like, you know, straight from the the, the original Star Trek type of stuff, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that would be cool. Anyway, uh, of course, we're going to be talking. We love Infinity War. And we were going to talk again about Infinity War. It would have been our, like, fourth episode talking about Infinity War. However, we also love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And what's better than Infinity War and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but Infinity War and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Uh, so, spoiler alert, we will be giving you some information about both of these things. And we have found out that watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we got some connection going on to Infinity War. It's what all of us wanted. So, we are now in uh, the fifth season, I believe, of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and we are ready to get going. And uh, what's going to happen right now is I'm not going to call on Danny because he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and now I am going to call on Danny because he's back. So uh, let's go ahead and get moving. Oh, of course, by the way, I'm Rashad Waters, your host and uh, founder and owner of Block Band Music and Publishing, the company that provides music and instruments to marching bands across the nation. Let's bring in our co hosts here. What's going on, Danny? You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick, CEO of Fourth Wall Productions. Go ahead and check out Ace Blade on Kickstarter, uh, 100 Pages, the Ultimate Edition. Go ahead and get that in there right now. Uh, I'm mad. I'm mad about S.H.I.E.L.D. and Infinity War, so let's get into it. All right, and let's bring on... Also, he's currently in a different location right now, a little closer to nature. He's out there the where Wolverine is, I have said many times before. <laughs> What's going on, sir? What's going on, guys? What's going on? Now I'm here. Had to visit some family today, so I'm here kicking it with them. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm a part owner of a KFH party easy. You know, it's from all the the great wonderful movie premiere events that we do. But we also do birthday parties, weddings, everything else as well. So we'll we'll get we'll get you involved in anything and everything. So just check us out at KFH uh on Facebook, on our Facebook group, and also just uh, check us out on eBreak when we have our events. But yeah, I'm ready and to get in the shield. Shield I didn't I wasn't mad at Shield, but you know. I, I like I like some of it. I might be a little different than uh, Mr. Danny over there. Well, of course, he's the contrarian, so you know how it is. He 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 performs his role very well every episode. You can depend on him to be different. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what makes us such a great show. By the way, who are you, sir? I purposely left your name out. I figured that you would say your name, but I guess I guess. Yeah, Chuck Taylor here. Do I need to do the whole thing over again, or? No, mm -hmm. man, we, we're good. So we're bring, we're bringing back Chuck again. I thought I thought that was dead. I thought I thought that was gone. We was like Chuck Taylor for like a month. <laughs> I'm gonna put some chucks. I'm gonna put some chucks on my on my intro. Well, chucks. There you go. <laughs> You're none chucks. All right, so let's get into this. What did you like? about this episode uh we're talking about the i think this is is this i don't know what the number is so we'll come back and put the episode number at the top but right now we're talking about this episode whatever it is <laughs> what did you like about this episode danny uh what did i like about it i liked yeah the conflicts i mean not i didn't like much about it i liked that Oops. there was an episode um that you know the finale is coming up. <laughs> I like that Shield is still on TV. Um, I like that. I liked. Uh, I did like the the conflict between uh, Fitz and and uh, what's his name Mac. That was cool. Uh, I really felt the tension there. I felt like Mac was gonna haul off and punch your boy in the head one good time. So I like <laughs> hands on him. <laughs> that would have been the end of that would have been the end of Fitz. He would have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he dusted away like uh, Thanos. He would have just hit him one time and just dissolved in the in the dinner. <laughs> right, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. But um, 
that was cool. I, I you know, I, I'll have more in the in the dislike section, but I, I, I'm ready for the finale. So. This is uh, episode 20, by the way. I just looked it up with my handy dandy Google, where all the information comes from. Google, that's a plug for you, so you know we can go ahead and send us a check. Because you need more people need to know about you, Google. Nobody knows about you, Charlie. What did you like about uh, episode twenty of season five of Agent Shield? I mean, I like I like all the tension. So I like how the teams are like kind of divided um, in this, you know, future. The well, the all well, the future. Um, I guess how to fix what happened in the futures in the future that they were in. So like each team, like you know, you had the Fitz and um, what's the girl name? Um, it was Gemma, Gemma, Gemma and Fitz, you know, and uh, and uh, Fitz Yo Yo, Fitz, Fitz Simmons. Simmons. I'm sorry, Fitz Simmons. You have that whole group with Yo Yo, like they can't be stopped, they can't be killed, so they kind of go rogue and like, okay, you don't know what you're talking about, we're gonna do it our way. And then you got the whole Colson thing, I'm gonna die, you know, it's okay, don't try to save me, you know, you know, I'm just trying to fade off in, into the sunset. I've I've lived long enough. He, in his eyes. Um, then you got, you know, the Daisy and um, uh, what's her name? Y'all help me. May, Daisy and May. They're like, they're like headstrong on. Okay, we gotta save him no matter what. You know, if it does, if it causes the future to crash, we gotta keep him alive. Like they're going to get the what's the deadlock program about to stick him with the dang uh, serum to turn him crazy. Like uh, <laughs> what was the the guy from Hydra was using? I'm like when they said that, I'm like, really, y'all is going too far. Y'all about to go straight. I was like, y'all going to really try to keep him alive like this? This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Y'all got issues. Y'all need to go to counseling. If he dies and your world ends this bad, you need to go to some type of counseling or something. You're not right. If you're gonna keep him alive with some crazy juice, you know, it's like that was. They went all the way back to season one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Y'all just going. I'm like, is he that important? I guess he is. I mean, Fury kept him alive. He had his brain, you know, filled with uh, you know, Creed Creed juice and crap. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this dude cannot die in the Marvel universe at all. I feel bad for Coulson yeah. a little bit. He's a soldier that never can die. And then he got the uh, Ghost Rider. I'm like, I don't know if Ghost Rider ever gonna come back for him, or if, he, <laughs> if that was like a one time thing that he got to be Ghost Rider. But he said it was a price, so I'm like, well, what's the price? So I feel a little bad for Colson. I kind of get off on a rant a little bit. But get back to what I like about the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I also like Graviton. Graviton, like, just the way he was, like, destroying people was, was hilarious. It was perfect. Like, just turn them into little basketballs. <laughs> 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 he just turned everybody into basketballs. It was like... <laughs> And they all just bend up. It kind of reminded me of like some Mortal Kombat fatalities or something. Uh, it was like they did. You remember on Space Jam? You remember Space Jam where they took yeah. my, made him into a basketball? He made, and, he made it a ball. <laughs> oh, look, I got the Space Jam on today. Oh. I was about to say, is that why you're wearing that? <laughs> <laughs> Getting smushed. Also, I like Max's character in this season because he reminds me like you no know, he's like the preacher so he's like the straight and narrow i don't sway from pressure i always do the right thing the good old boy captain america type junks and having <laughs> everybody everybody's like fighting with him is like hey we gotta we want to save you know we gotta save the uh, the planet so we're gonna have to do some things different he's like no nobody dies <laughs> nothing changes we have to do it all the shield away i'm like bruh like I, I'm sorry that sh that Yo Yo killed the little killed the girl, but the girl was crazy. I don't know what she was gonna kill everybody, so somebody had to do something. But you know, yeah, it is what it is. So it's it's been a fun it's been a fun season to me. I like the way they've been jumping around and having a conflict. So of course you guys know that uh, Danny is the one that likes everything. I guess he's losing that name now. <laughs> so <laughs> we replace that with the contrarian. That's his new name, the contrarian. But uh well I guess we're gonna call Charlie now the guy that knows nobody's name. <laughs> Tell me with the name again. 
<laughs> right. What's what's his name? The main character. What's his name? <laughs> hey, so, you guys uh, ain't The me. things that I like, uh, I like Max's character as well. I, I like him a lot better this season than other episodes. Like, I just he was just working my nerves. He was always the guy that's like aliens. I don't like them. Robots. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you're on a shield. You're on a show that deals with aliens and robots all the time. You're gonna have to get used to this. But uh, I like him now. His they just how to really develop him. You can really see his emotions and all the conversations that he has, like with uh, with Yo Yo or with Fitz or anything. Like you really see where he's coming from. It wasn't in this episode, but last episode where he was talking to Yo Yo, and she's like, you know, you know, I always run away, but I always come back. And he was like, yeah, I know, but I might not be there when you get back. Right. Drop the mic. <laughs> Dude is talking about like nonviolence, like not killing people. But how do you how do you have that stance when you literally are the only one with a shotgun axe? I was thinking of that while you were talking. I was like, <laughs> you be chopping people heads off all the time. It's a non-lethal weapon. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a non-lethal <laughs> shotgun axe. Okay. Uh, I like the overall story itself. Just like you were saying, Charlie, I really like a lot of the, the twist. And the turns in this episode, like uh, Daisy coming back, we're from Mom's Bones. Like, <laughs> like whoa! It's like it's a lot of stuff in here that you don't really know what's going to happen. And it's, I, I really like that, and um, I like Graviton as well. Um, the way he's just crushing people. <laughs> it reminds me. I don't know if you guys ever seen the this show, but it's like you know, I'm crushing your head. Like I'm crushing your head. And that really doesn't remind me of that, but it's kind of like that. Was it Kids <laughs> Next Door or something? No, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so yeah, I, overall, I really like this season. Excuse me, let me not say that. I really like what's happening recently with the season. So let's get into those dislikes there. All right, Mr. Danny Contrarian, what do you dislike about this uh, season? This seems like it's going to be a lot, so let's go ahead and get your popcorn, guys. Okay, so what I don't like the Cree, first of all. So this whole season has been about going into the future where they met the Cree, right? Mm. What are the Cree's motivations? Like, are they, they just one of them villains that, like, one of those races that want to kill everybody and own everything? So they're like the Republicans of the galaxy. So, uh, I don't like the Cree. I don't like the Cree. Uh, I don't like the way that they look. I don't like the, the, desi like the design of them. I don't like I just don't like the creep, first of all. So that's uh -huh. the base of it. <clears throat> now, these these little monsters that they keep coming up with, like first when they went on the, the spaceship, it was the roaches, right? Like right. they were roaches. All mm -hmm. right. So everybody was scared of the roaches. And then when you get the 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 um um what is it, Shield Team Six came out there and you can you can just handle they can just handle the roaches, you know. Okay, so that's not that's cool, but this episode specifically, like this last episode specifically, I just didn't like y'all like Gravit Gravitonium Man. I didn't like him. I don't like General Talbot. I don't like the person who plays him. I don't like his voice. I don't like anything about this dude. Like I did like that he was <laughs> crunching people up in the in the little balls. That was savage. But I just don't like him, man. He just how you gonna all right? So the the whole last. Eight episodes. He's been talking about. Oh, Colson is the only person I can trust. Uh, I, <laughs> you're, you're a great soldier, Colson. You've always been such and such and such. And then this one blue dude tells you that you're awesome, and now you don't. Now you want to go up against your boy Colson. I wish Colson would have got the Gravitonium so he could have smacked this dude in the face. That's what I wish. <laughs> Cause this dude but Joe, is my reason for that though, he's got a reason. You know, when you get the gravitonium, you get the uh, the the the, uh, the minds of the other two people, and they both hate Coulson. Well, one of them really hates Coulson. The other one probably mildly dislikes him. So that's causing him. That's affecting his personality. You know. Yeah, remember uh, Jenna? Jenna said said that that he was going he was going to go crazy, regardless of how it looked. Like he was going to go crazy after a while. From yeah, he, he went straight too crazy though. Like as soon as he got the gravitonium, he just automatically well, went from. Well, with him, it was a little different. Crazy, so it had to turn him regular for a little bit, and then it went straight crazy once he kind of got it. <laughs> when he put the when he put the costume on, it was like okay, it's over. 
He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> He's gone. He said, where did he get the mustache from? Did he dye his beard or something up there too? Because I thought it was gray. I thought it was gray. I mean, turn he had a perfect goatee going on. I was like, where did that come from? He had a whole but, makeover. Yeah, this that's, that's, got a whole costume made, everything. You know, when you have gravity powers, that's what you get. You get the ability to, to dye your mustache. You know, with gravity, know. that's what controls that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that soon because I already see some. I already got some grades coming in. So I don't know. I see it. I see it I on the HD. Here, yeah, I definitely need some. <laughs> but I go have ahead, none. Dan. I have none. Last look. Yeah, last, right. I'm. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let it go. But last but not least, I just didn't like that he was. He ended up being the destroyer of worlds. Like the whole season, they've been talking about. Well, how did? You know the destroyer of worlds. How did who broke the world apart and all this stuff? So the there was nothing in the story. I think I lost him again. Did I lose y'all? Nope. You're good. Okay. So there was nothing in the story from the beginning of the season to now to make you think that General Talbot would have ever been the destroyer of worlds, or that he was the one who got the gravitonium. So for me, when it happened, it just wasn't very impactful. So. Like now, I'm, I just don't. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm ready for somebody to figure out how to kill him, and then the season will be over. <laughs> but we don't. You don't know that he's the destroyer world. Still, this they call Sky. I mean Daisy, the destroyer worlds, and there must be a reason for that. You know, I mean it's like it's leading us to the fact that yeah, if he gets more gravitonium, maybe he could. But we still don't know if Daisy's going to come in and intercept, and because because of what she does. That that ends up causing it. We still don't know she that. Tried to blast them in the last episode. They didn't do nothing. She was just burned. yeah. She 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 was like a wave, like a like a uh, like a uh, like a fan or something was blowing on his hair or something. Like, <laughs> he was high. Like... <laughs> uh, I, so you did see her. What did you dislike about this episode? Oh, what I dislike. Um. I guess just I could go with the Cree. The Cree kind of were they're a little aggravating to me on the TV. I guess because I'm thinking that they're going to be more like how Guardians of the Galaxy portrayed them, but um, they're kind of just like regular humans, just with paint on. They don't really look. I don't know. They're not very scary to me. If if uh, May and all them can beat them up hand to hand combat, I don't really think they're a superior race at all. You know, just uh -huh. not that impressed with them. So they could uh, they could bring out. Somebody else, like Hydra or somebody else, to make them a little have a little more of a twist. I'm just not feeling them as a villain for this season. Um, I do agree mm -hmm. with, agree with Tori with that. Cassius and all of them were like kind of punks to me when I saw them on the other one. The girl Cree was cool, but the one that had the psycho <coughs> abilities with the uh, psychic abilities was cool. But the rest of them were kind of just amateur, like yeah, y'all are, are garbage. <laughs> hey, um, Phil. Yeah. Where did the Confederacy come from? Answer that I question. No idea. Yeah, that when I heard first heard that, I was like, "What is this garbage?" The Confederacy, <laughs> but no. but it paid off. It paid off in this episode a little bit. But yeah, but as far as like where they came from initially, like what the heck is this Confederacy crap? Yeah, I I didn't really get that. I was thinking it was going to be, I don't know. I, I didn't think it would tie all back into the Cree and everything, and just all the bad guys are just working as a team. To go around and raid planets and take their resources. I'm like, oh, okay, that's where y'all are going with this. I guess the riots were just trying to freelance a little bit. They just, you know, they don't know what's happening with Infinity War. So they're like, well, let's just write something. It's something interesting. Right. That we can try to tie it in once we see the movie. But, um, you know, other than that, um, seeing General Talbot kind of just turn completely, I guess, uh, to the dark side that quickly that was like kind of like is it is they run out of a show here or something because he <laughs> literally so. like he literally floated them up there to the ship and it was like okay well we're going to we're going to go show these aliens who's boss i'm like okay yeah he about to go out there and start smushing people and then like as soon as he got there he smushed one dude they bow down and then he turned on Colson like the next scene. I'm like, okay. This exactly. Exactly. It was like one scene. He was like, oh, let me and Colson go to baby. We're going to take over. And then he went in one chamber. He went to one meeting. He went to one meeting. <laughs> he went to one meeting. 
entire mind. <laughs> that that was probably like the lacking of the episode was like they could have developed that a little bit more. Like had Colson maybe done something to kind of maybe make Talbot think that he was trying to come at him a different direction. I don't know. Maybe take control, act like he was leader. Oh, uh, you look for my mom. My mom. <laughs> yes. That was. That was it was you hear you like <laughs> tell him brother I said hey he said I thought he said hey what's up <laughs> she was turning me on some air conditioning she saw I was a little, little toasty oh, up here right so but yeah those are my main dislikes it wasn't too much but that 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 they could do a little better with that is that it that's yeah. all you dislike no that's that's all right. really, um, that's with me yeah. Well, me, I forgot one thing that I, I liked. I forgot about this. I liked how um, General Hale was coming up on Talbot and she's like, you know what? Everything will be okay if you just take a breath and you comply. And he was like, oh, I got to comply. It's like, oh, smack. Like she bought it Hydra. It's like, oh, smack. Like Tal like uh, Hale is about to take charge of this situation. Hydra's about to be in charge of uh, Graviton. And then it's like, man, like Hale is, and then Hale got... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's we, the problem was well did she say that after he started talking junk about her her daughter she was like yeah, that little um, girl couldn't handle this or something like that <laughs> she never mm -hmm. to be so graviton she was like you better comply or something like that. i was like uh-oh uh-oh right them other voices told him that he was like hey that ain't this ain't real go ahead and take her out <laughs> <laughs> right real quick. i like how she uh how uh <laughs> She how quickly she turned on Colson. She was like, uh, I told Colson not to do it. I told him not to bring them up. Colson was, like, was getting played by everybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, hell was funny right there. Like, like man, Joe, dude, I told him. <laughs> and to, go, to, go, to go on that point, did you see how he added like a little kid? He said, and that's totally not true. I told him to say that. <laughs> Where that came from. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> but um, for things I, I dislike, um, okay, this is a very small dislike. But let's, let's be honest here. Yo-Yo should have dropped Daisy to the floor. Yes. Immediately. Over. No questions asked. Over. But this, that's the thing. Like, every time that Daisy gets in a fight, it's always a long fight that should not last. Like when she fought uh, Lenora, I think was her name from the Cree. Like that should have been whoever got in the first shot. That was it. And it's the same thing with, with Sky and Daisy. Whoever mm -hmm. got in that first hit, that should have been it. And so she could have just hit her with the uh, the uh, earthquake beams and Yo-Yo would have been, been out. <laughs> but Yo-Yo, she rolled up on her and like time was stopped. And she was like, uh, Boudoum, like you said, hit her with the two piece. Like that should have been it. Like Daisy should have been done. <laughs> and she, like she gonna and, get and don't forget now. Don't forget she uh, had the 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 metal arms. Metal arms, she right? She got the Jack's arms and can't even. She has a she didn't up barely and crap. Like yeah. I mean, Daisy's a good fighter. Like my respect for her went up so much in like season three, when you can see like, oh, she's been putting in that work. But you yeah. ain't gonna fight nobody that got super speed like yo yo. It just just make it that Daisy can lose every now and then. It's okay. We'll still respect her as a character, but that should have been it right there. Um the other thing I don't like, I don't like this whole Star original series Star Trek thing that has kind of got going on, that type of feel. Like when I started the show and I was facing backwards, like that's it's cheesy to me. It's like as that's just cheesy. Like Age of the Shield is kind of more grounded. In reality, kind of, sort of. I mean, the situations that they're involved in are not grounded in reality, but how they play out, how they react to those situations is kind of more grounded in reality. But it's like this dude, he's walking around talking about, you know, my gravitonium. And like, that's so cheesy, man. Like, it just sound like an old TV show. Like, oh, did you bring my gravitonium? Like, come on, dude. Like, just, just, bow I don't like it. I don't like that at all. When he said, I lost it when he said, bow before me. I was like, where else are they gonna bow? Like, you got to say before me. Where else are they gonna bow at? They all <laughs> say, calm down, bro. Not over there in the corner, <laughs> right here. Uh, and I didn't definitely didn't like this. Is a 
Th that didn't make no sense. I didn't like how easy it was for Talbot to take over. He went upstairs. He crushed one guy, and they were like, oh, he's a dude. Like, it was saying, y'all ain't got no type of weapons or nothing? Like, here, like, no. on Earth, you know, we got all these Second Amendment people. They all got guns. Y'all yeah. aliens, <laughs> y'all ain't got the Second Amendment up there. Y'all ain't got no yeah. guns. He just, you they crush one guy, you're like, that's it. He's, he's a man. It don't take but one person getting crushed for me yeah. to give up. For me, for me, for me to bow down, if you yeah. turn him into a basketball up there, I'm good. Like, yeah, it's not a battle we're gonna fight right here. But why oh, didn't nobody? Okay. But you mean to tell me? Oh, wait, if I got a gun or some other type of weapon, and he killed that guy, I just can't. I don't shoot him. Nobody shoots him. It's a lot of us. You, nobody mm -hmm. shoots. Him. He just you, got. And then he, he rolls up on like the heads of multiple different armies. And he crushes one guy, and now he's in charge of multiple different armies. Like I just, I just imagine them going back to their armies and be like, "Yeah, this new guy, Graviton, he's in charge now." Oh, really? What happened? Did he have like a whole army? Now he came up and killed one guy. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we serve him now. You have to, when you, <laughs> you when you go into that, you have to you have to explain how he killed him. Yes. yes, he destroyed his body. He made his whole body go into his belly, and his, everything popped and exploded in space. And they're like, "Oh, <laughs> he did! He did that with barely looking at him." I was like, "Okay, yeah, he's the man now. We're good." Yeah, yeah. He said, we'll uh, yeah, he "One dude, and he balled up into a little tiny ball and died." Oh, okay, I understand. I understand why. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> you said, you said, right. said his name is Graviton. Let me make sure I just write this down. Graviton. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I would I would say his name right because I don't want to be crushed either, right? <laughs> so real quick before we get out of here, um, and then after that, you guys can give your your closing spiels here. Let's just talk about the Infinity War connection real fast here. So um, they mentioned Thanos. Spoiler alert. Um, what do you think about that? And do you think they're going to is half the team or some of the team is going to disappear at the end of this season? Uh, Danny, what you think, man? I like I said, I I don't think that they get the memos from Disney. Their their property isn't worth enough to get to be included in those memos. So I wouldn't be surprised if the, half the team does disappear. Um, but since it's the season finale, ooh, excuse me, what time is it? Jesus, <laughs> half of me. Are you bored? <laughs> we can't get view. We can't get views. <laughs> If uh, if you yawning, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So, so. <clears throat> One of two things has to happen in this episode: either the world gets quaked apart, or uh, Coulson has to die in this last episode, or they've wasted the whole season and they don't deserve another season. That's just it. Wow! Wow! You definitely don't have that. Um, I'm looking for. Uh, what's the type of love that it doesn't matter what you do? What is that called? Unconditional. You don't have that unconditional love for Agents of Shield. Like they, they earning it with every episode with yes. you. I see. It's all conditional. <laughs> yes, there's too much other good TV out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, Agent Charlie Taylor. What, what you? Uh, Infinity War connections. What you think? Well, first of all, I did like that they said Avengers and they didn't see like super super people or something like that and they did talk about Thanos when I heard Thanos I looked at my wife I was like did they say Thanos they said Thanos <laughs> and he just kept repeating it Thanos <laughs> and comes comes like oh John they talk about Thanos on the show and then I was like listen to him I was like oh they don't know what the heck Thanos is actually doing do they because they must have just watched the trailer like we did because he <laughs> he's not even trying to do nothing that no invasion destruction he just trying to, he like basically what what was should have been told to them as they were doing that meeting, all the bad guys is like, yeah, he's about to make all y'all disappear. Everybody. Don't don't worry about the world. Just worry about the person beside you. Cause they about to be gone like that. <laughs> so it was like I was like, I was glad that they did it, but I could also tell after seeing the movie, it was like, yeah, they haven't seen that movie yet. <laughs> He, he he don't care about he don't care about the earth at all. He just want to get those gems. He could have took that back to Titan. He won't even come to Earth. He told his <laughs> little people to go get the jewels and come meet him at Titan. And he was gonna do it there. Mm -hmm. So so like after hearing, I was like, okay, well, 
I understand they want to be connected, but it's probably not possible. It, it, uh, shit, none of the show people are the next people will ever be on the movie, so just stop trying. But you know, it's okay. I like that they tried. I can give them a clap for they them trying. So they at least tried. <laughs> so, but but outside of that, um, I don't think they're gonna have anything to do with people disappearing. They'll probably just have like they'll probably say like this happened before. Uh, people actually got snapped out of existence. Like the last two episodes, this is all in the same day or two day period. Because we mm-hmm. don't know how long it took Thanos to get back to Earth to snap people back into, you know, uh, the, to finish the last part of the movie. So, I mean, it could have been a couple of days with, you know, them on Titan and with the Wakanda portion. You know, I don't know how quickly that occurred. Was that all in a 24 hour period? But, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. So they could just say, well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is happening before. You no, know, he snapped his fingers and people started disappearing. So they can kind of do their own thing because they only got two more episodes anyway. So, you know, not gonna be too too hard to do yeah. that. Oh, it's two episodes. Okay. I thought the next one was the last one. Oh, well, maybe they have. Uh, <laughs> you might have to deal with it one more time. To, to <laughs> that ain't gonna even watch that last like, episode. Like, yeah, I'll watch one more. You got one more. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, Daddy, go ahead and give us your cl- your closing thoughts real quick here, man. Well, shoot, now that I know that they got two episodes, uh, I don't know. They Look, they better get it together within these last two, because from what I understand, this might be the end of the entire show. So I don't, I haven't heard any news that they were renewed for the next season. So, look, they better get it together. But that's it for me. Uh, we appreciate y'all checking out. Uh, the color commentary. Like I said, look for Ace Blade on Kickstarter. But until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. All right. And uh, Charlie, closing thoughts from you and your mom? Mama, you okay? No. <laughs> she, she hasn't watched the new episode of S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, so I got to get her get her up to date. And I'll make her watch everything Marvel. Family. Blood. But anyways, yeah, it's been good, guys. Um still coming down from this infinity war high you know they still kicked me in you know in the gut kicked us in a couple other spots as well you know killing everybody if you ain't seen it spoiler even though i said it already they kill everybody still mad at that but hopefully we'll see some people in the next week even though the russo said that some people are staying dead which i don't get so i don't know y'all can see i'm still emotional about this i'm still emotional (laughs) <laughs> so I'm going to stop because I'm going to go on a rant again. So you guys take care. Thanks for checking us out. We will see you guys next time. Deuces. <laughs> well, real quick, I'm just going to say that I don't think that people have, at least at the end of this season, half the people don't need to die because like you said, Charlie, a, long time, a little while ago, if they get rid of half the people in Ages of Chill, they're not coming back to May. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that would be bad, okay? So again, thank you again for watching uh, Color Commentary. Hope you enjoyed our episode here. Make sure to look down at the description so you can see all of our playlists and link to other things. If you liked us, make sure to give us a like. And of course, you got to subscribe to survive. Thanks again for watching Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Peace. And it's got to be So I know you guys have waited to the end of this episode to see if we are going to do what we're going to do. And patience is definitely a virtue. However, sometimes patience doesn't pay off. And it's got to be That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Forget what Rashad says. Patience does pay off. I'm giving away free comic books. Go over to the website and put the link in the description. Go over there and you can get a free copy of Ace Blade right now. How about that? Patient does pay off. Peace out. And it's gotta be. That's the only-